Welcome back to another episode of Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. As always, it's me, the Smippy D. In this video, we're going to see how R2-D2 performs in Viva La Resistance. This is the ultimate turn meter manipulation, and for this to work, you really want to be zetering your R2-D2 and putting him in with a bunch of resistance characters. Both R2-D2 Zetas are ideal for this team because you're going to be cleansing off one of R2's unique Zetas and the other is going to be providing extra potency to the Resistance characters. So without any further ado, let's fire up Viva La Resistance! So in our first battle we're going against the reworked Imperial Troopers and we're using our Zeta Finn leadership with R2-D2, Barris. Resistance Trooper and Poe. It's very important that you do have Poe the fastest in your team. You want him to taunt straight away and you land in them exposes, but he also can reduce turn meter. Barris is just really there. She's a Zeta. She's just there to keep our team alive if things do go south. Um, but straight away, we're going to be wanting to go for that kind of like taunt from Poe. Um, as you can see, we did get a couple of exposes, which is going to increase our turn meter, but unfortunately, we didn't get none. On the actual shore trooper himself but we are gonna dispel him as we can as you can see that that is what we can do we're gonna be using r2's aoe to give our team full turn meter we pretty much want to be spamming poe because he can reduce turn meter and land multiple exposures and um, with his kind of like taunt so straight away that's our main objective to this team and many teams like it um we're gonna go for the stun on veers and also we can then go for an if it's possible which we have done and by the time now Poe will have full turn meter again as you can see he's got full turn meter and we're going to be then again <laughs> using his taunt hopefully we can reduce some and which we have R2 again is going to come in for his AoE and we're pretty much rinsing and repeat and we're doing the same process over and over again we're now going to be going for the stun and expose on any other trooper it doesn't matter which one you go for R2's coming in with his AoE again. See how many turns this team gets. It's incredible and it's fun. It may not be the best team. It may not be a meta team, but it's a team that if you're wanting some fun, wanting some giggles and laugh, then this team is definitely right up your alley. With Barris, this is her first turn so far. Um, we're just going to then just use her to use a basic. She's just there really for... If things do go south, you can replace her with whoever you want. You can put another resistance character in there if you really wanted to. Um, it's totally up to yourself. You know, we're going to also try it against a Rex team, which which has a triple cleanse. So we're going to definitely go for that and see how it holds. Um, this can also be a more team. It can start off really sticky at the start, but it will be it on the offense. But as we all know, or most will know, that resistance don't have a good track record for the kind of like defensive sides. Um, but hopefully, you know, that, that may change in the future with episode 8 coming out. Maybe we'll see a, a, a new version or a newer version of Rey. And I think that would be promising and good. But as you can see in this video straight away, that we're clearing house. Um, they haven't took a turn as of yet. And I'm not intending to let them take a turn either. Um, we're going to go for the stun again over here, and I'm going to show you how to beat a triple cleanse squad as well. They are difficult to beat, but it is about speed of your Poe. Um, it depends on what their character is, of course, of their kind of like Sharu, if he's faster. You want to try and be making your kind of like Poe the fastest you possibly can, because he's the one that's going to start with this expose and start this kind of like transition off. Um hits hard they hit very very hard uh, but it's fun i'm enjoying this with r2d2 in at our side it's it's quite amazing there's nothing this team's going to really be doing um at the moment and this is going to be any teams kind of like in the vicinity of what this team is um so yeah it's it's cool I, I, i'm really enjoying it and I've, I've done quite a few matches with this kind of like team and yeah i am really enjoying it if you couldn't tell already Unfortunately, we wasn't able to get the kind of like torn off with Poe there. So we're just going to go in for the kill now as the time's ticking down. Um, so we should be able to do one shot with him now with that expose and Finn, which we did. 
Um, we're going to try and go for the expose again. We wasn't able to, but R2 will finish him off. Our second battle is against the Triple Rex Cleanse, and you've got Rex, Nihilus, Baze, Sharu, and General Kenobi. Straight away, what we definitely want to be doing is going for those exposes, then getting rid of that taunt on Baze. So hopefully we can land a full house. We're going to have to put this on times four, just because of the team that we are facing. And we're going to have to kind of like talk through this as much as possible. But as you can see straight away, that's worked to treat. We haven't been able to reduce much kind of turn meter, but I'll take anything <laughs> what I've got against a team like this. We're going to go for the expose. Let's have a look on Sharu. Hopefully we can stun him. It is quite important. We wasn't able to. General Kenobi has got that torn up. We're going to have to go in with R2-D2 here. And he's put that kind of like burn in effect. Probably isn't going to do much for them, but it's just going to make sure that they're not going to be dodging hits or anything like that. Again, Poe, hopefully we can reduce some more turn meter, which we have. We're going to dispel those kind of like taunt on General Kenobi. We're going to come in and we're going to go for the stun. Again, we're going to probably come back to Sharut because he's got the highest turn meter here. We got the stun off, which is great. We're going to be using R2 for the stun again. And this is going to be on Rex and we were able to land that. Um, now we're going to go and clear this kind of like expose on Nyla so we can get some more turn meter for our team. We're going to use Poe again. Hopefully we can reduce some more turn meter, which we have. And as you can see, Nihilus has got pretty much two exposes on him. So we're going to take him down. <laughs> oh, he's nearly died. This is great. The only, the, we have actually only been hit. And this is the funny thing. We've only been hit by counter attacks. We're going to go for the stun on Kenobi because he's another cleanser. We wasn't able to get that. But pose back around. Hopefully we can do, reduce some more turn meter, which we was able to. So I'm happy with that. We're going to go then for the expose and stun on General Kenobi. We wasn't able to get that. We were. But so far it's um, so good. We're going to go for the stun on General Kenobi this time, hopefully. We wasn't able to get it. So we're just going to kill him, if that's okay. We're going to go for the stun on Rex. We were able to get that. We're going to take that off now. Yep. Yeah. The expose. Ooh, we can take out Rex here, I think. I think it's a safe bet to kind of like get rid of Rex. Reduce some more turn meter. I'm loving this. <clears throat> it's just um, so good. R2-D2 for the stun. We got the stun. Now we're going to take him out. To clear him off. Oh, he, he didn't go. Never mind. Uh, we can use that on base. Boost our turn meter for our team. And now we're going to get rid of Sharu. No! Oh! He survived! Um, He's not going to survive this though, because we're going to get rid of him. Hopefully, yep, he's gone. And we get land the stun, we cut the stun. Can we destroy him? So he's on his last legs. Barris should kind of like finish him. But if you've enjoyed this video, then please make sure that you are hitting that like button and subscribe. You know, if you like this kind of content where you're going to see new builds, new teams, fun things like this, then please make sure that you are checking out my channel on a regular basis. Thank you very much for watching today. As always, I'm the Smithy D. May the force be with you always.